Hello, hello there, and welcome back to War Thunder. Today we continue our journey through the French naval tech tree in its close beta, and at last we have arrived at the Colbert, which is a Souffron class heavy cruiser in its 1942 configuration. It shares the battle rating of 5.3 and the rank 4 with the Milbertin that I already covered and I really liked as well. And I really like the Colbert and it is a very different ship to the Milbertin. Um, and allow me here a little bit of a weird comparison. The Colbert is more like the Panzer IV with the short barreled 75mm gun versus the Emile Bertin being the Panzer III with the long barreled 50mm. And that would kind of explain here the difference in performance. Nonetheless, the main selling point of the Colbert at battle rating 5.3 are 8 8 inch guns or 203mm guns with an initial rate of fire of 10 second reload or 6 rounds per minute and after the ready use ammo they fall off to a mere 5 rounds per minute which is still the equivalent to the majority of Japanese heavy cruisers and also the German uh, Admiral Hipper class and that at 5.3 but that comes at a cost and that is the lack of penetration because it has no AP and the sap which is a high yield also doesn't pen. Uh, further we have no armor and um, the AA is also really bad. So let's go it bit by bit. Let's start with the speed. 61 km per hour. Top speed fully upgraded. Not oh, bad but also not great. Then we have main armor belt of 50 millimeters and a deck plating of 20 millimeters. There are big big gaps of armor all over the place and I'm not quite right if Gaijin has modeled this correctly. Then the main advantage of the armor is that the main magazines are below the waterline. Um, not impossible to hit but really difficult and also um, there is between the hull also some spacing and then you have the main magazine armor of 50 millimeters. There is no protection whatsoever for the bobettes of the main battery and the main battery turrets themselves are cladded in 30 millimeters of armor. That's it. Then we have the AA. Now, the good thing is that you have radar, so you know that something's coming. Bad thing is you really have nothing really effective to stop them. The 890 millimeters have no proximity fuse shells. They are time fused. There is no SAP or AP, and they just lack the punch. That's it. The 37 millimeters are also the single shot one so low rate of fire and they just are bad and the only automatic thing that you have are some 13.2 millimeter heavy machine guns so yeah uh, effectively you also struggle versus patrol boat if you don't use your main battery then you also have overall 10 torpedoes 550 millimeter in caliber uh, you have a triple launcher to each side and then also two torpedoes each as a reload. And I use them without the torpedo mode. And so the 23DT torpedoes have a maximum speed of 72 kilometers per hour and 9 kilometers range. And the explosive mass is 308 kilograms. And I use them as usual on um, anything but patrol boats with a depth stroke of 4 meters. The main advantage of the Colbert that also uh, the Emile Bertin has is that you have catapult planes and you have two of them instead of one. And while they don't have bombs or a main armament or even like the smoke, you at least can do something about caps, decapping, you know, etc. And um, there is a funny scene, I'm not quite sure if you're there yet, uh, now it's yet to come, where um, there is a big threat of the AI pilots being absolute donkeys. <laughs> You'll see it when you see it. Um, so the thing is, it's about the rate of fire of the main guns, bringing home the shells. You have two ammo types. You have the normal HE with 9.1 kilograms of TNT, bringing 61 millimeters of penetration. But thanks to real shatter, it's borderline useless. 
and the tier 1 upgrade, the second and last ammo type, is the 203mm OPF MLE 1927 SAPBC round that has 850 meters per second muscle loss, the 8.88 kilograms of TNT, almost as much as the HE round. But the big problem here is the lack of penetration because this is equivalent to a 5 inch 38 SAP round. I'm not kidding, only 151 millimeters of penetration. So if you pen something, then you hurt it a lot, extraordinary a lot. Um, I give you here a comparison to the British 5.7 heavy cruiser, the HMS Norfolk, that with its SAP round as a comparison, has only 5.2 kilograms of yield, but has 270 millimeters of penetration instead of 150. So you have a lot of trouble dealing even with an Admiral Hipper class, which is not really famous for its armor, um, but even versus something like a RN Polar or a Sara, um, or in theory versus a Des Moines, you just can't penetrate them, especially at combat ranges. You're nothing but gun food. But there is another US cruiser that I want to uh, compare it to. I have spoken highly of the high rate of fire. The USS Northampton, also 5.3 and tier 4, has also 9 8 inch guns and has vastly superior ammo selection. It also has an AP round with up to 380 millimeter. That's more than double what, what the SAP on the Colbert offers you. And um, it has a reload of 17.1 seconds. That is bad. So you kind of see where the Colbert is. I just absolutely love shooting at destroyers and uh, light cruisers. It is where the ship shines. And that is fun. Yes, it's not a all-around high-performance ship like, I don't know, an, uh, Prince Eugen or the likes of the Des Moines or USS Helena or uh, the Zelensnyakov, Chapayev, Kirov, you name it. But it's a really good ship and I like it. And uh, again, it complements each other with the Mille Bertin. Uh, you can also, in theory, use as backups the Primoche or the Jean d'Arc. And um, you kind of see where this is going. It's an initial lineup that you can have. And also, um, you will have fun grinding the Paris. But playing the Paris, if you have fun playing that, that's a completely different uh, question that I answered in the video about the Paris. So, the Colbert. It's a glass cannon. It's absolutely fun to use those 8-inch guns on destroyers, on light cruisers, and I can't get enough. It's just blapping them just destroying them you have enough rate of fire to not make it really um, an exercise in futility uh, like with the uh, with some other heavy cruisers but you struggle at times and I think the very best um, summary is given in this fight so that is I think a Prince Eugen or at least the Admiral Hipper class and I had the side of his main battery turret and damaged it. I'm capping and um, I cannot damage him from the front, at least the turrets. So there you can see I now have his attention and um, I now have to really see how I can deal with him. The problem is he's behind an island and he's very close. So that is as good as a distance as I, as I get for my SAP round. And uh, it's barely enough to penetrate the barbettes, right? So turret phase just eats my sap round. And I cannot torpin yet. But I try to just hope for a freak shell or something. I uh, launch one torpedo. And he needs to see the torpedo launch unless he is really distracted with my uh, shell fire. And... On the radar, I see that a plane is coming in. So, yeah, nothing that I can really do about the plane. I cannot lock on it. My 90 millimeters not just have run out of ammo or their ready rack was destroyed. 
Um, that was also not enough lead, so that's a mistake on my behalf. But I'm dead, that's a P8, and he uh, already dropped. So here I just launched the other torpedoes and hope for the best. But the very first torpedo already looks really good. And uh, that's it for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other on the waves of War Thunder.